Welcome to the video tutorial of Abstract 1373 presented at ID Week 2018 in San Francisco, USA. So as we know that ESBLs and carbapenemases producing gram-negative bacteria are a big concern and they are a global concern. Uh, so mostly in the hospital, hospitalized patients, these ESBL enzymes and carbapenemase enzymes are most prevalent in different parts of the world, uh, including India, Mexico, Balkans, etc. But if we talk about India particularly, uh, because this was an Indian study which was conducted in different hospitals of India. So if we talk particularly about India, MBL is endemic. So these metallobetalectomases, which are carbapenemase enzymes, they are in an endemic state. So prevalence of MBLs is reported to be much higher than serine carbapenemases in Indian subcontinent. So this abstract focuses to assess uh, the activity of ceftriaxone, sulbectam and disodium editate that is LORS uh, against the MDR, Avomini, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Enterobacteriaceae that is E. coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae isolates uh, and these pathogens are basically WHO critical priority pathogens and these pathogens were collected from various hospitals in India uh, at around 2013 to 2016. So over the period of these four years from 22 different uh, hospitals of India, uh, MDR pathogens of Avomini, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Enterobacteriaceae were collected and the activity of LORS was assessed on these pathogens. So a total of 3150 isolates were collected and out of these E. coli were 716, Klebsiella pneumoniae uh, were 435, Pseudomonas aeruginosa are 924 and Acinetobacter vomini are 1075. And if we talk about the number of uh, pathogens which were beta-lactamase producers, which were producing a beta-lactamase enzyme, so this number was 86%. So out of uh, 3150 isolates, 2717 isolates that is more than 86% isolates were beta-lactamase producers. So beta-lactamase like ESBLs, extended spectrum beta-lactamase, then MBLs, metallo-beta-lactamase, which is a uh, carbapenemase enzyme. And few pathogens were also ESBL plus MBL. So out of these 2717 isolates, uh, ESBL producers were 31% that is 851 mbl producers were 58.6 percent that is 1591 and esbl plus mbl was 10 percent so 275 isolates out of 2717 isolates were both esbl and mbl producers so these isolates were categorized into four phenotypes that is ESBLs, MBLs, then serine carbapenemases and MC based upon the uh, CDDT test that is combined disc diffusion test. So ESBL as we know is extended spectrum beta-lactamases, MBL is metallo-beta-lactamases, then serine carbapenemases, example is OXA and KPC, Klebsiella pneumoniae carbapenemase and then MC. So CDDT that is combined disc diffusion test as we know uh, in this the zone of inhibition or the difference in zone of inhibition of ceftazidime and ceftazidime plus clavulanic acid uh, is analyzed and if there is a difference of 5 millimeter or more than 5 millimeter uh, difference in the size of zone of inhibition uh, it is a positive test for ESBLs. Now coming to the different uh, findings of this abstract. So first of all, uh, this abstract reported that the overall MBL prevalence was much higher than the serine carbapenemases. So as you can see in this pie chart also, serine carbapenemases like OXA and KPC, prevalence of uh, these serine carbapenemases is around 2% only, whereas MBLs, metallo-beta-lactamases, prevalence is more than 50%. And if you talk about the pathogens, which pathogen showed maximum prevalence of or maximum production of MBL enzymes? So MBL prevalence was highest in Acinetobacter bomini, 
followed by Klebsiella pneumoniae. As you can see in this image, uh, in these graphs, the production of MBLs in Acinetobacter bomini is 78%, and the production of MBLs in Klebsiella is 54%. And if we talk about different types of MBLs, so example of different MBLs, metallobitalectomases is NDM, then IMP and VIM. These are different kind of metallobitalectomases. So if we talk about the prevalence of different kind of beta-lectomases, so this abstract reported that the presence of IMP was highest followed by VIM and NDM. So it is generally considered that NDM producing MBL enzymes are most prevalent in India. But as per the outcome of this abstract, IMP was highest followed by VIM and then NDM. So this abstract also reported that LORES at 1 or less than 1 microgram per ml inhibited 90% or more than 90% of the enterobacteriaceae. As you can see in these two charts, one is for enterobacteriaceae like E. coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae and second is for known enterobacteriaceae that is Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Acinetobacter pneumoniae and across different uh, resistance subgroups like ESBLs, MBLs, serine carbapenemases, ESBL plus MBLs etc. The running total of MIC distributions uh, per identified phenotypes for LORES have been reported in these two charts and LORES at MIC of 1 or less than 1 uh, microgram per ml inhibited 90% or more than 90% of the enterobacteriaceae. And this study also uh, summarized or concluded the spectrum of activity of LORES also. So it was reported that LORES was active against TEM, SHV, CTXM kind of uh, enzymes, beta-lectomase enzymes. Apart from that, the MBLs like NDM, IMP, VIM, LORES was also active against these enzymes. Uh, LORES was also found to be effective against OXA, ESBL enzymes. But uh, the exception to this was MC enzymes and KPC enzymes or serine carbapenemases. So this MC, LORES showed little activity against MC enzymes and also for OXA carbapenemases or KPC enzymes. So LORES is highly effective against most identified uh, phenotypes including ESBLs and MBLs but it showed a uh, little activity against uh, isolates uh, that carried MC enzymes or serine carbapenemases like KPC or OXA carbapenemases. So let us discuss this OXA enzyme or serine enzymes in brief. So OXA enzyme or OXA beta-lectomases, the full form of OXA is oxacillin hydrolyzing beta-lectomase. So this OXA beta-lectomase displays a wide variety of amino acid sequence. So there are different kind of OXA enzymes depending upon the sequence of this amino acid uh, of their structure. Few are categorized as OXA ESBLs and few OXA enzymes are OXA carbapenemases. So major subgroups uh, OXA ESBLs and OXA carbapenemases. So now if we talk about OXA ESBLs, so different enzymes uh, or different types of OXA enzymes are there like OXA 11, then OXA 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, then OXA 28, OXA 45, etc. And LORES was found to be highly effective against these OXA ESBL enzymes. And now if we talk about the second subgroup of OXA, that is OXA carbapenemases, uh, OXA 23, OXA 40, 51, 58, OXA 134A, 143, 213, 214, 211, uh, 235, OXA 48, etc. So these are many or different OXA enzymes which are OXA carbapenemases. So this OXA 48 uh, is most prevalent kind of OXA carbapenemase enzyme. So if for example, a doctor says, I have a patient who is infected with Acinetobacter bomini, that is OXA48 producer. So will LORS work against uh, this pathogen or the, in this patient? So we can communicate to doctor, there are very little chances that LORS will work against uh, this particular type of patient because uh, it is OXA48 producer, which is a carbapenemase enzyme and LORS has showed very little activity against this kind of enzyme. 
so vast majority of oxa carbapenemases have been discovered in opportunistic gram negative bacteria acinetobacter bomini also so finally uh, this study concluded that uh, these results highlighted that elores could provide useful clinical value as a carbapenem sparing option in clinical settings because carbapenems uh, they don't work against mbl enzymes and kpc enzymes also because both of these enzymes are carbapenemases but elores is active against or elores was found to be effective against mbl producing carbapenemases like ndm imp vim so this study concluded or this abstract concluded that elores could provide a valuable clinical option as a carbapenem sparer option uh, in clinical settings or in other words we can again summarize that a right empirical antibiotic at right dose and right time can make all the difference hopefully these different video tutorials of uh, pre clinical trial presented at id week uh, 2018 will help you Uh, in understanding the lbls and these studies or abstracts in a in an effective way and similarly you can communicate the major points or outcomes or highlights of these abstracts in an effective way to the doctors also thank you friends